Following on from Graham's introduction last week, this is the first update in a new video series from AAB. All the content is geared towards providing you with what we hope will be valuable advice and insight. During this short video, I will touch on the key areas of data, key performance indicators, and using these in various scenarios to help speed up decision making. At AAB, we are channeling all of this activity through a dedicated plan ahead team that was formed shortly after lockdown started back in March. The team was formed in recognition that we needed to add another level to the firm's overall response to COVID-19, which would be key to navigating the business through not only the immediate impact of the pandemic, but also the economic aftershocks which we anticipate having to work with for the next few years. To replay Graham's analogy to me when he asked me to set this in motion, the person leading the crisis action team is focused on getting the entire team to the top of the next hill, to the edge of what is visible, and it needs the right people in the plan ahead team to be thinking about what the other side of the hill might look like and what we can do when we get there. To consider what options and actions might look like in different scenarios and how they might play out and present this back to him with recommendations that would allow him to act quickly and maintain forward momentum. As our consulting arm often tell us based on the work they do, building agility and resilience for clients, the conventional approaches to strategic planning do not work in times of increasing disruption, especially truly unprecedented times as we have now. Too many of the established norms on which strategies are based are either no longer valid or are just too uncertain. The plan needs to accept that the picture in front of you can change rapidly and in many different ways and be developed accordingly. And that's where plan ahead comes in for us. The team's role is to build multiple scenarios of what the future of the business could look like identify options and actions needed to act tactically and strategically. It's also about collecting that forward-looking data that will give an early indication if a particular scenario is emerging in front of you and allow you to act quickly as a result. We started with the firm's existing budgets, projections and strategic plans. These had already been recut in response to COVID-19 and we adopted these as our base case for plan ahead. From there, we developed a range of possible future scenarios for our business, posing a lot of what if questions and modelling each of these to show the extent to which each scenario we envisaged could cause us to deviate away from our base case. We are diverse in the services we provide to an even more diverse range of clients. With multiple service lines, sectors and geographies to factor in, we looked at each division of our business separately and how COVID-19 could affect in those areas, then modelled this to see what the overall impact looked like for the firm as a whole if different scenarios emerged. This has forced us to consider how we would respond to a range of possible future scenarios that we have not experienced nor had to consider before and prepare. This was done over several time horizons from two quarters out to two years. The structure of the plan ahead team is modular and by that I mean that we have a number of small interconnected teams with projects running concurrently as part of plan ahead. Drawing on the skills and experience of people across our business as and when required and also spreading the load to allow us to act quickly and stay ahead. For example, one of the subsets of Plan Ahead is focused on how COVID-19 could impact on our revenue over the next two years in multiple scenarios and the actions we may take as a business in response. But this is of limited value unless you have reliable, actionable data on which you can recognise when a particular scenario is emerging in front of you or a trigger point. So, in addition to continuously gathering information on the markets, and sectors in which we operate. Our internally developed sales pipeline software has been upgraded to provide a real-time dashboard of new work opportunities won or lost across the business. We now have a technology-driven solution that delivers continuously refreshed data on what our sales might look like ahead of time, highlighting trends, issues and indeed opportunities. This data is fed into the wider Plan Ahead team so that we can respond quickly when the data tells us it is time. Our models are updated and plans continuously developed as we integrate new data as it becomes available. None of us can see past the top of the next hill. Right now, we're not sure what time of day we'll get there, what the terrain or gradient might look like on the other side, where the hazards might lie or how the weather can hinder, or indeed if the path is straight and clear. Planning ahead is having all the right equipment packed and knowing what actions to take to successfully navigate the terrain, whatever it happens to look like. Success for the plan ahead concept is getting your first glimpse over the top of the next hill and being able to say, this is what we plan for. If you would like any further information on this topic, 
or have any questions, please feel free to contact me directly through LinkedIn, or you can email me on derek.mitchell at aab.uk. Myself and other members of the AEB team are always on hand to assist.